Ipswich Museum was established as a museum library and school of arts and science. Uh, it was established in High Street in the 1880s. And our plans for redevelopment now are true to that original Victorian vision. We want to bring together the heritage, the science and the arts on one site. At the rear of the building we have a former Salem Chapel which is now the new Wolsey Studio. It's a small studio theatre and we also have next door to the museum a former Ipswich Art School which was purchased in 2012 to reunite it with the site. So we now want to bring together the theatre, the art school as an art gallery and the museum to fuse that science heritage and arts which was the original Victorian vision for the museum. We are um, here to open up people creatively, to use our collections, us to be here to listen to people's ideas and narratives and stories that they bring to our collections. We're really good at knowing about the background and the history of our collections but the thing we cannot do as staff in a museum is to actually capture people's imaginations and where we use it creatively to take forward to inspire people maybe to dance like on this project or to paint a picture, to make a sculpture. The Unlock project is uh, enabling people to help us interpret the collections in really interesting and artistic ways. We're working with our arts partners to unlock people's creativity inspired by those museum collections. We're doing that by making more of them available online through social media we're also working with community groups in both Colchester and Ipswich to document contemporary responses, but we're doing it through high quality arts practitioners who are experienced in working with these audiences. The Unlock Project is also a new approach to our displays and our exhibitions work. So we're making sure that the audience's voice is represented within those displays. And where possible, we're looking to display community work alongside the objects themselves. And we really hope to give a genuine ownership of the space by inviting our audiences to lead sessions and to be involved. And that might be through volunteering, it might be through leading workshops, it might be through our community user group. There's a number of ways to get them involved, but it's about them having ownership of these collections and also sharing their voice within them. Today I'm making work with the um, art club about the African collection. So we're using it as a basis for every piece of work this term. And today we're looking at a dolly. Um, and the, the children are interpreting it in, in whichever way they like. We're using different shapes and fixing them together in a number of ways. It's lovely to have this really old object beautifully kept and out in the open for people to really get a good look at rather than behind glass. So it's a beautiful thing, yeah. Oh, it's a really good idea to get all the community together. It's a good idea to, to, to have the children enjoying the museum because a lot of children, they never come to the museum. They don't even know where is it. So uh, it's a brilliant idea to have every community together. There is around uh, 6,000 people, Portuguese people in, our, in the Suffolk. And then they are all now coming to concentrate on the, on the Ipswich. So this is a very good place to start um, working with all the communities, not only Portuguese. People come from Sao Tome, people come from Nigeria, from Ghana from Caribbean, so we're trying to work all together now to make our community stronger. I'd want to uh, try to tell the stories of how these objects came to be where they are now, from where they were when they were first made. So that is the story of how they were made, what they were made for, but also how they were acquired by their collector and how that person uh, came back to Ipswich or Suffolk. Well, it's very uh, good working on, uh, in, in, in Ipswich Museum because it's um, a uh, quite um, a reasonable sized collection. It uh, contains a lot of important material from different parts of the world um, that uh, needs to be brought together and needs to be highlighted in, in, a, in a way that, um, uh, that gets the um, interest of the general public. What we will do is retain the Victorian Natural History Gallery at its heart, because that's its real essence. It is a Victorian vision. Um, but then around that, we can develop new modern galleries. So the 
Egyptian gallery at the moment is incredibly popular. That's our most modern gallery. I want to develop more of that around the museum, but at the same time, create an inner street that will connect all of the buildings here on site and enable us to work with our partners, New Woolsey Theatre, and also Pasiti Company, who are based in the former art school. They're a, a live and visual arts company. So we can interpret the rich heritage assets that we have here through uh, a really interesting mix of arts uh, and some new technologies as well, bring in some really cutting edge science to interpret some of our rich heritage collections.